So I wanted to do a very personal uh, video of us uh, walking to a brand new school. This is the girl's first day at a, at a brand new elementary school. Uh, this is a really big moment for our family. Uh, and, and we think it's sort of related to the bakery in the sense that, uh, well, from a from like a commuting perspective and everything, um, we are about to move into a new building, uh, and the girls are going to a charter school, and that charter school is about a half hour away. So, uh, whether when they're with their with their biological mom or with me, um, yeah, both parents ha have to commute. Uh, recently, uh, their mom. Uh, moved very close by, only two miles. So for the last few months, we've been discussing this idea of potentially switching schools. Uh, what really brought this home for us was actually um, recent events in our life with, uh, with Kira. Um, so you can't really understand our story uh, without sort of understanding some of the things that are happening in the background beyond just uh, the bakery. Yes, we uh, have a bakery in our home garage and yes, we are moving that bakery right now to Main Street in downtown Mesa and building a new building and uh, building a new build, a bakery build out and all that. Uh, and it's a, a big time for us there. Uh, but simultaneously, we are dealing with uh, with a medical situation that not everybody has to face on a daily basis. So, um, so for the last few years, we've been uh, trying to figure out what might be going on um, with Kira. She has, she's always had like a little bit of a different walk and a different way of talking. Uh, and we didn't realize that these two things were related to one another until we saw a, a regular primary doctor in the winter uh, and also learned that she had um, a, a heart murmur, a cardiomyopathy. Um, well, when that, when that came to light, there was really only a couple options that could tie her speech, uh, situation, her walking situation, the cardio situation. And so two days before we learned that we needed to move the bakery out of the garage, uh, we got a diagnosis for Kira uh, of Friedrich's ataxia. It's a rare genetic disease um, that typically you learn about around her age. Um, and it's something that you face your whole life. It's degenerative in nature, so it gets worse over time. Uh, it impacts the ability to walk um, and the ability to do things like talking, um, swallowing, uh, often comes with a lot of other issues uh, like heart, heart issues, issues with diabetes, scoliosis. Um, uh, it's, it's a really difficult uh, situation um, and so when you see Kara um, uh, working in the kitchen um, she's she's uh, everything that she's working on that sort of we take for granted on a daily basis like walking for instance you we don't really think much or think twice about walking for her like keeping stable uh, is is much more difficult. Um, the the best way to put it for those of you who socially drink and have ever have ever had a little bit too much to drink, um, her nervous system basically works in a way similar to somebody who has had too much to drink. Uh, the signals from her brain to her limbs are are weakened, and so. Um, uh, you know, another way of putting it, she doesn't always have as 
her brain doesn't always know it, where her feet are. One of the ways that you sort of combat this is through physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy. Those are really medicines in this, in this sense that your body is basically getting worse on its own. Um, and as you're, as you're training, as you're, as you're strengthening, you're countering the, the force of, uh, that, that's happening genetically. Um, the disease itself is, um, it's like a genetic repeat that happens in one gene. Um, and this one gene that's broken uh, is responsible for giving your body something called frataxin, uh, with which mitochondria in your cells function. Uh, without it, the, the mitochondria in your cells function worse, and those are like your cells' energy uh, houses. Um, and over time, the nervous system starts to experience some death, uh, and so people with this condition over time end up in a wheelchair. Um, it's, a, it's a really rough thing. So we learned about this at the same time that we learned that we were uh, having to move. And so when I'm not working on proof, um, meaning like when I'm completely caught up on work, uh, especially this new building right now, a lot of the work that I'm doing is getting the new construction going, uh, working with contractors and whatnot. And everything happening with a bakery is sort of peanuts in comparison to uh, the things that are happening with, with Kira right now. Uh, so we did, find, we did make a lot of progress over the last month. Uh, we sort of introduced the fact that she, she was getting diagnosed for this condition on, on one video before, but in the since the last time that she appeared on video, we did get a, a diagnosis confirmed. And there's only two doctors in the whole country that work with this particular uh, disease. Uh, we were able to connect with one of them as of a week ago. Uh, so we have an appointment booked. We've been able to join kind of the parent support group for, for this disease uh, and learn a lot. Um, so it's, it's, uh, going about as well as it, it, as it, as it could be. And now Kira's, uh, starting a five day per week physical therapy regimen, which with occupational therapy and speech therapy, we're talking about over an hour a day that she is doing this type of thing. Um, switching to a school that's less than a mile away for her means that instead of spending the time commuting, we're spending the time uh, on, um, on physical therapy and other supportive services. So her being so close to home will give us a lot of comfort. Amara gets to go to school now too with uh, neighbor friends. Uh, uh, she's currently uh, talking with a friend that lives just two doors down. So this is the first time in my girls' lives that they get to go to school right by where they live. And so we couldn't be more excited for them in, in all the senses. Um, one, you can see, I, I, you, I, I guess I want to focus this next bit on, on Carrie. You can see that she can walk uh, to, to this school, and so we'll be doing that. Um, I actually just ordered her something called a recumbent tricycle. It's, it's something that sits really low to the ground. and you're almost, you're almost half laying down. Um, so you're sitting really low to the ground. Your legs are extended forward and you're biking. It's on three wheels. Uh, this particular road, this is all bike lane. So there's like a whole bike lane the size of a car lane on this, on this street. It's a, it's a really major like biking area. And um, Amara just got a bike as well. So I'm hoping that in about a week, uh, once we get some practice in as a family, the girls with, along with their neighbors can bike to school. Um, so, so yeah, that's, that's the whole school move. Um, 
Kira is currently rocking some special shoes that give her stability. And yeah, what what do you think about your new uh, what do you think about your new school? Are you a little scared? No, I just don't want my teacher. You were saying you didn't want to leave particular teachers, right? Which teachers are you like most nervous about missing? My math teacher and normal teacher. What's her name? Megan Cotton Bartley. Who else? What about Miss Kendall? Kendall, my uh, be fair and uh, I'll make my physical therapy. And I already don't want to leave my venture. Who's she? My uh, engineering teacher. So, uh, when Kira was three and four and like, you know, learning to talk just like most other kids learn during that time forming complete sentences, we were a little bit perplexed because she didn't really fit the typical sort of speech articulation issues. She just couldn't say consonants. Like she could say all these complicated words and we would sort of be blown away with some of the three or four syllable words that she sometimes used, but most of the consonants that she said came out like an H. Uh, so we started doing speech therapy back then. And then meanwhile, we we're doing physical therapy because we noticed that she was like running and hopping and jumping differently than her, than her older sister, who is just, trudging along over there with her with her friend um, so we what sort of alarmed us was we noticed that her walking was not headed in the right direction she was making a lot of progress on speech the whole time um, so her speech has gotten a lot better over time but but some of the mobility got got worse uh, and so that, that, was, that was all related to how we came to find out about, about F.A. Uh, I've learned since that the average family that tries to get something like F.A. diagnosed, it takes them five years to get to a diagnosis from the time that they first suspect that there's something going on uh, because it's just so rare. Um, so Kara, how does it feel to walk to school? Um, I like that Jackson Lab path to a day right here been her name. I think you're just sore. She's been doing really well. Uh, I got a little bit worried over the course of the summer because uh, she was struggling to like walk just around our block, but I think that that's less related to her current uh, condition and more related to the fact that it was over 100 degrees outside. So um, what have you been doing the last couple days to stay active? Well, yesterday, I mean not yesterday, but yesterday I played tennis when on Halloween, in the morning I went, when I went to air training with this walking. Do you remember how many miles you walked all day? Like three. So we've had to think about things in a little bit of a different way. Uh, you know, that 30 minute commute seemed okay before but now seems really wasteful when thinking about it from the standpoint of having physical therapy and some of these other things we want we want both of our girls to have have family time uh, and to be able to uh, not just not just go to school 
uh, commute, do homework and go to bed every day. So I'm very excited about Kira being able to ride her new uh, trike to school with Amara pretty soon. Um, we're very excited about just being this close to home and being able to uh, you know, have a little less worry, especially now that we're moving out of the house with work soon. Uh, our new location is far closer to this place uh, than, than to their current school. So overall, it's just been a good situation for them and we're getting very close to school now. So uh, couldn't be more thankful for this situation for, for both the girls, but we think it's gonna be especially positive for, for Kira as well. Looking forward to the girls getting to know more of their neighbors, uh, which are coming in from, from all directions.